Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we are going to talk about how we can perform content approval for SharePoint list using Power Automate or Microsoft Follow. So now let's get started. First of all, let me talk about out of the box content approval process into SharePoint. This is my SharePoint list and I have enabled content approval for this SharePoint list. To enable the content approval, make sure that you are going to list setting and go to versioning settings. Here first we have an option of required content approval for submitted item. Make sure that for your list it is configured as yes. Once you configure that field, it created out of the box column over here. The out of the box column name is approval status column and if you want to check its internal name what you need to do is just filter the things and you can see that the column name is moderation status over here now the concern is how can we make this process automatically using microsoft flow so i am going to explain this process in detail over here out of the box what happen here is whenever approver is coming here they are just clicking on more option and they can approve or reject the item now they are just providing the comment here now i do not need this out of the box mechanism i want to achieve this entire thing with the approval flow using power automate so what happen here is whenever the new item is created into sharepoint list it went it sends the automatic email to the approver to approve the list item and once the approver is approving the list item its moderation status is changed to approved over here so how can we achieve this requirement very easily and quickly i am going to explain you this thing in detail right so stay tuned through entire session so first of all make sure that you uh, open your flow.microsoft.com so here you can see that there are so many uh, templates available go to the approval tab over here and here there is one out of the box template start approval when a new item is added just click on this template so it will create automatically one flow for you so first this type of message box is opened here and here the description is appearing so it is clearly mentioned that use this template for processing approval on sharepoint list item the approver can view their approval request in the approval center or over the email once an item is approved or rejected the item creator is sent a confirmation email so this type of thing is being showing here now click on continue over here so you can see that this automatic flow has been created over here right now let me just rename this flow as dev01 so you can see that the entire flow structure is being created like this so now what we need to do here is we need to make few modification for our contract approval thing now for this created item who will be the approver i have a scenario like i have department column here i have list department manager now these are the person who are going to approve that particular item. So what I need to do here is whenever the item is created based on the selected department, I, I need to find its manager from this list and based on that manager's value, I need to assign that particular manager to the request and that manager is responsible for approving or rejecting an item, right? For that, let's do one thing first of all find out the manager so first of all uh, this is the out of the box flow when item is created start an approval and uh, once it is start an approval and it is if it is approved it is send the approval email otherwise it is sending the rejection email and uh, let's say if this procedure is somehow failed uh, it is sending an email that uh, approval action has been failed and it is terminating the flow like this right and here uh, you can see that in configure run after it is set as has failed right now we need to do one more thing here we need to make our appropriate change into this particular template so that will make our process much easier right so whenever the item is created into the list so let configure our list over here so my list is this one and um, my list name is 
maintenance list now uh, i just want to start an approval but before that i need approval name that is uh, for that i just need to find out the rest square rest call we just need to add an action get items uh, from here we just need to select our list that is department managers and in filter query we need to write a condition title equal to department value now i just need to initialize one variable to store the approver name so just use initialize variable and mark that as a string variable after that i just need to set the variable and i just need to use append to a string variable over here right now what we need to do here is here we will be getting the manager name over here so we just need to pass the manager email over here so it will automatically add apply to each over here right so i am getting the string variable in a appended email format like this right after that what i need to do here is once i do that it will start an approval process here i need to provide the name of the approver so just add a dynamic content and pass that variable name over here so it will initiate the approval process the detail in title it is showing that created by a username and when it is created item link and the name of the description right and after that everything will be work as it is right uh, so if it is approved uh, it is informing the approver that uh, yes your um, item has been approved successfully and on rejection it is sending an email like this with that we need to do one more action and that action is something like we need to set its moderation status as approved and reject right so uh, we just need to search for content approval So here we have an action set content approval status. So just select that action. Just select your file path, uh, your uh, list name. My list name is maintenance. ID is the item when uh, the item was created. So uh, we just need to use ID column of when item is created. Then we need to pick an action like yes, it is approved here right and uh, if uh, any comment has been uh, uh, registered by the user just select comment from this approver uh, action right just copy the same thing from here uh, i am just copying to my clipboard and just pasting over here my clipboard and paste and here only change is that here moderation status would be reject right so we just set content approval status as rejected over here right otherwise rest of the information are work as expected manner so this is how we can simply customize our out of the box content approval process with the help of power automate right now let me just click on save here now let's test our result let me just create one item over here now let me choose department as other and let me just click on save now for other department dhruvin is manager so he will be receiving an email about this approval process meantime let's check the flow run the flow has been triggered let's open the flow and check the values over here so you can see that uh, the initialize variable and in apply to each we are getting one approver name uh, dhruvin and uh, it has initiated the approval process so here you can see that i received one email notification so the email is looking like this dhruvin shah requested by date created details and uh, there is a link so whenever we click on that it will be redirect us to this particular content approval system now from email itself you can approve or reject your item so just click on approve and provide a reason if you wish let me just provide approved here and let me just submit that and let's check the other process over here and meantime if you see that by default its status was pending right now what i need to do here is i just need to refresh let's check 
that its status has been updated to approved here so this is the out of the box moderation status column for approval status right it has been set as approved here now uh, let me show, show you the flow ran over here so now uh, if we check the flow ran again here it has been approved it goes to this particular step and you can see that item uh, inform the item creator of the approval so i should receive one more email that your request for please inform management has been approved by thruvin comments approved right so uh, this has been sent this email to us right if we want to customize anything we can customize with this email flow so this is how you can easily configure your content approval flow for your sharepoint list item right isn't that amazing one more thing i want to add like apart from this for any power platform concept if you have any question or if you wish that i will prepare a separate video on that feel free to add your suggestion in the comment section i will happy to hear your suggestion on my channel if you are for the if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from any of my daily show on my youtube channel also you can follow me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp and if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel you can see one link icon on my header just click on that it will be redirecting you to this particular form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification from my whatsapp channel stay connected with me for amazing video tips and tricks have a great day goodbye